First of all, this piece uh, is, I like, it's called Ode to Vivian because it's inspired by a photographer that I just totally love. Uh, her name is Vivian Meyer. Um, she's kind of like a, a nanny who secretly took pictures her whole life and hid them from everybody until they found their pictures many years after in storage. And they're really wonderful street photography, which I'm a huge fan of, uh, and especially when it's like, they take like little moments and make these little moments totally magical looking. Not necessarily like crazy moments to capture, but almost like kind of ordinary things and she just seems to find just the most wonderful element of, a, of just normal things. So I'm gonna do a, the, the show you a little bit how to play it. I'm not, I can't tell you the whole thing, so we have sheet music for the whole thing, but I will give you the gist of like how the left and the right hand and what they're doing. Uh, it's a bit of a harder one than the other ones. It's a bit more pianistic, but I believe in you. Um, so let's start with the left hand like we usually do. Let's give it up for the left hand. Okay. Now there's four chords in Ode to Vivian. So not very difficult. Um, they're pretty simple actually. So the first chord being F minor. See that? You got that? First chord. Uh, if you're having trouble when there's like more than one chord, just so you know, the best thing to do when you practice is so you do it once where you're looking at the piano, put it there. Take your hand off completely, put it back on. Take it off. Now, like, look, don't look around there. Like, you want your body to, to kind of feel it in different ways of, like, looking, not looking, taking it off, and your body starts to internalize the memory. And like uh, I probably said before, is that your memories start to go down into your internal memory, into your bodily memory, so you don't actually have to think about it anymore. So whenever you're learning piano, you're trying to make the memory, like, not from your head, but just immediate from your body, and that's just repetition and practice. So back to the first chord, F minor. Next chord gonna be C minor. Yeah. So, like I said, just, just at first, just practice this. Take your hand off. Yeah, you just like internalize it, okay? Now, third chord, E flat. Fourth chord, A flat. So here it is again, first chord, F minor, C minor, B flat, A flat. So I'm going to show you how these chords now move in the left hand. So you just start with the bottom note and then two top notes, right? And your, and your, and your pinky's kind of like the drum. So you just practice. And don't bang. Just play chill. There you go. So easy, look, look how easy it is. All right, you can practice that really slowly if you want. Don't be afraid to practice slowly, it's never a bad thing. There you go. Uh, someone once told me who was like learning how to do stride is that uh, if. if if this is like, if you're a new piano player and that's like far, just practice the, the, just practice specifically the things you find hard. So if it's like, just practice that transition. Here's the thing you gotta know about piano is every time you learn something wrong, it takes like so much time to refix the first. So when you play it the first time, do it real slow. And if it's just that part you have a problem with, just do that part. You know what I mean? this one if you have problems with this one so isolate the problems and don't just try to play the whole thing wrong all the time isolate what you need to fix if you can't do it like at least three times in a row and you're still making mistakes and you like I said you learn them wrong it's gonna take you months to get rid of that bad habit so when you're learning a piece really take your time okay so here we go now the melody goes on like this Let's attack this right hand. Um, the scale I believe I'm using the, the whole time is really... That's the scale. Any of these notes will work if you want to improv on this mode. Okay, so the first shape being 
if you look, it's really easy. Got that? So you go up, start back to start. So now also don't be like like I said. Um, is it, the phrasing I'm, I'm obviously really inspired by Satie. I've seen, I mentioned this before, but in terms of like timing and stuff like this, it's not so swing. It's just but being very dynamic with the notes and not like don't make them all the same volume. Play with the volume. There you go. Now you do the same thing over again. Then same thing over again. That's this. Right, so. And if you, the other trick when you're like, if you're having trouble lining up the notes at the right time, like, you know that the this D is always with the F. first shape so you're just adding that no no top note so I'll do the whole melody slowly for you again so if I'm not Like lots of timing things like I think on the sheet music it has sometimes straight but I'll play it normal speed now sometimes I you can anticipate or do it on the one Like I said, no banging um, and practice really slowly. And it's it's actually really not too hard to play. It's, it's actually I really enjoy playing this piece a lot still. Um, and I hope you enjoy. And go check out Vivian Meyer's photos; they're incredible. Um, that's what the song's inspired by. So, anyways, I hope you guys have a great time. Good luck with your piano. Practice hard, and if you don't, you'll be in trouble. Bye 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 bye. bye.